Good morning, beautiful people. Happy December 21st, 2015. How are ya? We are four days away from Christmas. Crazy, right? Doesn't even feel like it sometimes. I don't know, maybe because the kids are older now. Even though my little guy, he's still all about the presents and fun and wrapping up, wrapping up gifts, but for us, the big kids, I guess, it's really more about the time off to be home and spend with each other and go to family gatherings and eat amazing food for however many days. That's what it's really all about for us right now, or for me anyways. It's wild though, it's so eerie because the last day of school was on Friday. And so it is very eerie out here. There's minimal, minimal cars outside driving this morning it's just before 8 and I'm headed to work and my whole family is off including my fiance they're off and they get to sleep in for the next two weeks while mommy has to get up and go to work so whatever <laughs> I'll plan better next year when I get more vacation <laughs> anyways that's why it's so dark you probably can't even I don't even know if it makes sense to post this on YouTube but I'll do it anyways and of course make a podcast out of it so anyways wow um what a busy busy time christmas is always a busy time holiday season whatever you're celebrating it's always a busy time there's lots of people who come in from out of town and and whatnot and of course it's the gatherings it's all about the gathering of people so i'm very much looking forward to that this weekend i had the opportunity to do a walk on roll on stage at uh, the Royal Winnipeg Ballet's production of The Nutcracker. Had so much fun with that, wearing a costume, and I was in character. I was Lady Elizabeth. That was my character in my head. <laughs> because, you know, well, the, the it's a period piece, and of course you have to, to act the part and dress the part. That costume was hot though, oh my gosh. It was crazy hot. But it was it was nice to see so many people who recognize me for one and just to be there and it's such a beautiful beautiful dance it's just oh I wish I wish I could move the way they move so graceful so beautiful so if you haven't gotten your tickets yet haven't been able to go see it please do so the Nutcracker Royal Winnipeg Ballet they always have amazing productions anyways but the Nutcracker is great for the whole family and it's wonderful I loved it it was great and I thank you guys so much the folks at uh, RW Ballet who who uh, chose me to be one of the local celebs to walk on this year. Very awesome honor. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So lots has been going on the blog. Lots has not been going on the blog. It's been crazy. I haven't been feeling too hot. I'm just, uh, I don't know what I did to my shoulder folks, but I got like this huge knot in my left shoulder blade, I would say. And so, and around my tailbone area, so I, I clearly need to stretch for one. But at the same token, it's totally got me off kilter. I feel just not myself and it's not fun. I'm trying to get into massage therapy as soon as possible and as often as possible before the end of the year. Gotta use up those, those benefits. Um, but yeah, it's made me for not a happy gal most of these days. It's, uh, I don't like to have to take pain medication or any Aleve or muscle relaxants or any of that without absolute necessity. So I've actually been doing a lot of uh, my own massage techniques at home with massage balls. Yesterday I used a pill bottle <laughs> to get into that knot in my shoulder and uh, of course my little oat bags that I microwave and get some heat on it, try to loosen up in there. and. I guess it's also due to stress too, right? Just busy work, lots of fun stuff. HR is a crazy business. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just a culmination of things. And of course, as much as I love Christmas time for getting around with family, it's also a very telling time that always reminds me that my mom's not here. And it's tough because she was very much about the family at Christmas time and just making sure we get up uh, Christmas morning and make our ackee and saltfish and have our tradition and uh, we try to keep that going we will keep that going 
throw on the Luther Vandross Christmas CD. That's our family tradition as well. And so it's, it makes it a little tougher. So maybe I'm a little down in the dumps sometimes because of that, but absolutely my shoulder is giving me some, some trouble. That's not good, not fun. So if anyone has any other home remedies, I already have my Japanese mint oil that I rub on it every day. And like I said, I'm using those, the oat bags and I have a buckwheat bag that I use for heat and just trying to stretch it out. So trying my best folks, trying my best because I gotta be up and at them every single day. No staying at home sick kind of stuff going on with this girl. <laughs> so what else, oh my goodness. Um, there's quite a few giveaways on the blog right now. I got the Nutrigil, I got the $200 Visa gift card from Retail Me Not. Um, what else? Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. I have a couple more going up today. And really folks, for those of you that enter blog giveaways, I think for 2016, what I'm gonna try to do is get everything up before the end of the year and all of the, the winners will be chosen before the end of the year. I'm gonna change things up for 2016 as it relates to giveaways because I think there's a, there's a, I don't know if it's a better way. I just wanna try something new. And of course, 2016 is coming up and I have so many ideas and so many things I need to lay down. So when I do get some time off for Christmas and Boxing Day, that'll be my time to nail some of that down while I do have the time. What else? My goodness, of course, lots of different types of events coming up and going on and all that kind of fun stuff. And again, for me, I think everyone just needs to remember what this time is about and remember that there are people who are not in the Christmas spirit or having the holiday spirit, maybe because they've got loved ones who are in hospital or maybe they don't even have any loved ones and they're by themselves this year. So if you can pay it forward, if you can donate to Winnipeg Harvest or Silo Mission, Silo Mission, you know, there's so many people out there who don't have potentially what you have and vice versa. And so it's even more so important at this time of year to be giving, very giving, very caring, very loving. I know there's folks in my family who are ill and there's, there's close friends who have family that are ill that may not even see Christmas Day. And so I'm, I'm thinking of them, I'm praying for them, and I, I hope everyone just takes the time to not real to realize that it's not all about making sure you get the right $300 present or whatever it is it's about family and being with each other and and just love it's all about love for me that's my personal opinion my feedback you know I love to give it <laughs> all right so I want to wish you every single one of you that listen that watch that read that know who Peg City Lovely is and what I'm all about, I want to wish every single one of you a very, very Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you and yours. I will be talking to you before the end of the year because I'd love to do a nice little wrap up for you and give you a little tidbit into what 2016 is going to look like for not only me, but maybe I'll hear from you and we'll do something a little different with this wonderful community that we've got going on. So. With that, I'm off to work. Gotta get that grind in. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys? Oh my gosh. I I have been a certified HR professional for the last, oh my gosh, 10 years? When did I get my, I don't even remember. Anyways, it's been a long time. <laughs> so, so I had the opportunity to renew my certification and I chose not to and it was liberating. It's weird, is that weird? Anyways, uh, <laughs> more on that for 2016. We'll get to that eventually, but I had to tell you guys that. Anyways, again, wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas. Happy, happy, happy times with your families. And season's greeting from my family to yours. Be good to each other. Be caring, be giving, and have a fabulous Christmas season. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.